Oh gosh. Hey guys, Rivetted here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. I know things look a lot different and that is a very, very valid, good reason for it. Um, I hit a brick wall. I just got done recording an episode, hated it. Um, that biome was driving me absolutely insane. I was not enjoying myself, not having any fun anymore. I was tired of not having any gear. I was tired of constantly getting shoulder pads or necklaces. That's all I was getting. Didn't get any plus gear. So, with the help of my good friend Armor Time, I made a plea. Uh, and so we did a little bit of multiplayer finagling. Uh, I, what I did is I pulled up into the world where um, I've actually done a bunch of stuff with the crew. But as you can see, nothing is marked here because this character hasn't been here before. So it's my other character has seen everything, but this one hasn't. So uh, I've only done this on stream or multiplayer with my friends when they were doing it. So it's all going to be kind of new to me. But the best part about it is look at what my good friend did for me. Oh, I now have gear. So we can do an entire level here of just relaxing. I'm, I need this so bad. You guys have no idea. I just need, uh, what do I need? Necklace, which is whatever. Not going to worry about. We'll find it. Um, yeah, we will, we'll stick with what we got. Uh, we got a new pet, by the way. I did get him in the last episode, little leaf runner. Um, let you guys name him. I will leave it up to you guys. It's fine. And I got a boat. <laughs> Feels good to have a boat. Feels good to actually have a thing to do. Um, now, Armor was like, yeah, you're cheating. And valid. Absolutely valid. Yes. Doing what we did is cheaty. Um, and, you know, not everyone's going to be game for it. That's okay. Um, my playthrough, my game. Um, again, I hit a brick wall that I was not happy with. And so I decided that I was going to do something about it. So uh, if it makes the game work better for me, and since the entire purpose of me doing this series is to enjoy the game and have fun, I don't see the downside to it. So if you guys are upset by it, I get it. That's fine. Uh, be upset, but don't expect me to change it. Um, this is the first time since we started this that I actually feel like I have a chance of accomplishing some of my goals here today. And then this is good. Um, I wanted to do water biome. Having water biome with stuff that I can actually do, phenomenal. There we go. We're good. Where, where, where's my boat? Dear God. Okay, so that was the village we were on. We'll go hit a couple things. These are always good to hit because they help a lot. So, I do want to touch base with a bunch of stuff that I already talked about in my last episode, but um, I'm never airing that, so <laughs> I don't care. Um, I do want to thank everybody um, for not freaking out uh, in my last episode where I talked about the aliens, UFOs, and stuff. Uh, I, I still, like I mentioned, uh, uh, in that one. some people may not have you know, seen that part because not everybody watches to the end. Um, but I, I talked about how the fact that the Pentagon released uh, uh, video files stating that um, UFOs exist. Uh, not stating that aliens exist, but just that the UFOs themselves exist. And I talked about the fact that um, when I was younger, uh, my, my my family and I had witnessed um, an, at a sighting. Uh, so that's what I, I talked about. Um, so that's what it was. Uh, thank you. Uh, we're going to go to here. So, um, yeah, so I didn't get any flack, any grief, anything over that. And I endlessly want to thank you guys for that. Um, again, you know, it, it's a difficult enough thing to deal with. Um, but to have folks, you know, to, to share it is one thing, um, because there's always been, ever since I was a kid, there's always been that thing, the stigma attached to it of like, you know, anybody that thinks that UFO is real, a little bit crazy. Um, so I've been, you know, I've I told people that were close to me, but I've never really expressed it publicly. And so that was the first time that I've actually done it. Um, so again, thank you for allowing me to do so and not freaking out. Um, I may broach more stories along those lines. I have a multitude of actually weird things that have happened to me throughout my life. Um, and as I mentioned, instead of getting morose and macabre and, you know, about the current life situations, 
Um, as War said, I'm a storyteller. I should dig into my history of stories and start pulling some of them up. I, I, I've led an interesting life, um, so I might as well try to share more and more of it. Um, you know, hey, have a written record of the weirdness that is Rivet. Um, nothing wrong with that. So, uh, I did also want to touch base real quick, is that I talked the other day that I was going to DJ on Wednesday, and I did. Uh, did a three-hour set over on Twitch. Had a blast. It was good. Uh, good times were had by me. I'm not sure how ever, eh, everyone that was there seemed to say that they had a good time, so that was nice. Um, it's always nice to have folks uh, come out and uh, hang out and share um, music. Music is an important thing in my life. Um, always has been, always will be. And, um, you know, being able to DJ is something that is chill and relaxed. It's a way that I can entertain without having to talk, without having to engage in what I do here. Um, my energy levels for this has been waning as of late. And I think I, I, everyone kind of understands that this, the current times are trying for everybody. Um, so trying to get energy to, uh, to always be on is more and more difficult. And, you know, my friends that do stream, I am endlessly impressed with their abilities to be able to do this on a regular basis. Uh, nothing easy about it. Um, you know, hey, hey, even just doing YouTube is not necessarily the easiest of things to do sometimes. Um, but I enjoy doing what I do with it. Um, okay, hang glider's over there. I see it. I can see it. Um, okay, that was a little bit of... Great. Thank you. What the hell was that? Did you forget to turn off all your phones or it? Probably just Epic Games. <sighs> I got to keep track of things. Yeah. I, um, Epic posted the new games today. So I just grabbed them a little while ago. And I know that typically the emails from Epic take a little while to show up. And as per usual, they did. And uh, in my infinite uh, wisdom, I forgot to mute my phone. So that's that's me. I own it. So now we've got a hang glider and we got a boat. We're rocking. We are rocking. Starting this off fresh. Just the way I like it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay, so next up. Um, that's the place. So we're going to head... Boop, boop, boop. Northwest. Northwest it is. Um, so yeah, uh, DJ set was a lot of fun. Um, I actually posted it um, online to a bunch of my friends that I used to... Years ago. Um, I used to DJ on a regular basis. I used to work at a nightclub. Uh, bartended, and I also DJed. Um, so my DJ nights were Wednesdays. Uh, so for me, Wednesday night gig... Uh, we call it Noise Institute, which is named after a song that uh, my partner, uh, DJ partner and I um, loved. Um, so we DJed together for a number of years, um, five or six years at least, um, and I had a blast. It was a good time. And so I posted it uh, and told a bunch of my friends, hey, I'm bringing it back just to, to do this. If you are so inclined, you want to come and join it and, and hang out. Um, so it was nice to actually touch base with a lot of folks that I haven't talked to in a while. Um, it was good. It was a nice evening for me. Um, rebuilding those conversations is important. Um, having, you know, folks that are a common interest, um, you know, when distance draws you further and further away from folks, um, technology has allowed us to become closer and closer. And I appreciate that, for sure. Um, so, yeah, it was great to actually see some of the folks. Um, well, not in person, but, you know, to see them online and come in. Some people lurked. Um, but, yeah, about 10, between 10 and 15 people show up, um, which is great for a Wednesday night. I'm more than happy. It was an unannounced thing, which is kind of, like, spontaneous. I posted it real quick and said I was bringing it back, and um, folks came in and hung out. It was nice. It was a pleasant evening for me. Um, oh, great. You're just as much of an idiot. Okay, great. Um, but, yeah. That was that was fun, um, gaming stuff. Um, I just finished recording yesterday for you guys um, the seventh episode of XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, had a blast with it. Um, great little game, uh, enjoying it fully. Uh, I gave myself a challenge to do a one month, or sorry, uh, one week of playing it. Oh, this is delightful. 
Oh, this feels good. I, I wanted to do an entire um, week playing the game, uh, posting it every day, just to see if I could challenge myself to do so. Because I've been having issues, again, trying to find the motivation to play games and maintain things. So it was, it was good. Um, I enjoyed it endlessly. Um, so I will be continuing it. Um, it's not going to be daily any longer, but I will maintain um, playing it. So that's going to be a thing. Let's do that, too. Whew, baby. There we go. Um, so I also have uh, Deep Rock Galactic that War and I recorded the other day. Uh, I didn't stream it, but uh, War did. Um, so I thought it would be kind of fun to... Uh, I just converted those into videos for myself. Um, so I got five episodes of that that are going to be coming as well, which I think will be good. Um, so I'll be mixing that in between all of the other stuff that we got going. Um, yeah, got a couple new games that uh, hit my... Um, radar I guess uh, that I got access to um, pending a couple of them uh, one is is nice it's uh, cloud punk I think it was called cloud punk I have to double check it um, it's a kind of like a um, Blade Runner esque kind of game where I'm a delivery driver and I have to um, I work for basically a, a nefarious uber <laughs> I guess is the easiest way to say it. Uh, don't don't question what's in the packages kind of thing. And it's nice. It's fun. Um, kind of uh, low poly-ish, but well done. Like, I like it. It's very, very, very well done. Um, developers have put out a bunch of updates since I got the game when it came out. Um, so, which is good that they're working diligently on it. You know, it's not just one of those quick things of like, hey, I posted the game and now I'm never going to see you again. Um, now a lot of people say that that's what Wally did here, but you know, I, I, I beg to differ. He, I think he got scared away, but that's again, my opinion. Um, but yeah, um, cloud punk is, is entertaining, uh, for me. So I'm going to have that hit the, ser the as a, not, not, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a series or just a couple of times. Uh, we will check and see as we go along, but yeah, it's been, um, it's fun. I've been, I'm having a couple of new titles to, to play around with is, is entertaining. There we go. Why do you keep wanting to eat me? Can't keep an eye on things. He's not going down. There we go. Ooh! Not easy. Well, I shouldn't. It's it. It shouldn't be. This is a freaking arena, and I haven't been in this biome yet. Um, let's check and see what we got. Uh, B. I don't see any reason to change anything. Um, don't see a necklace or anything yet. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Here we go. Ember Golem. And we do our thing. Hope and pray that he's too big to get through there. Dear God. What am I missing? Oh, this is annoying. Oh, he's he's evil. I can't build up any traction with him. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, there we go. Well, well, well. Yeah, so um, a bunch of new games have kind of hit my radar. I did watch this morning the um, the release. What the hell? The release trailer. Well, was not. It, it, it's a, yeah. The announcement trailer, I should say, of Asheron's Calls Valhalla. Um, I... I I, I don't think I'm alone. I enjoy the Ashron's Call. I like the new direction they've taken since Origin and Odyssey. I've really enjoyed that style better than the older one. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, and that's fine. Um, but for me, it works. Um, and 
This looks like it could be along the same lines. I'm not too sure. Uh, they really didn't announce much. It was just mostly a, um, like, I, I like to say, like, the Blizzard effects thing, you know, where they show you a whole bunch of really cool pictures, like a video that has nothing to do with the gameplay itself, but it's just the story uh, that they're giving you. So it's like an animated movie instead of anything else. Um, but good. I like it. It's going to be Vikings type of thing, and Odin showed up, and I was like, okay. You know, I enjoyed Vikings, the, the History Channel show. That was fun. Um, I've always enjoyed North mythology. Um, so any type of mythology you can play with, I'm in. So it was good. But yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I, could, uh, I could see myself getting into this. Um, shoulder armor. Downgrade. Um, steel boots. I don't think I got anything out of that, which is fine. Didn't need to get anything out of it. It is okay. Next. Next, next, next. But yeah, um, Asheron's Call, Valhalla. Probably a game I will be picking up when it comes out. Um, and playing a, a, a bit of, probably a lot of. Um, all good though. All good for me. Uh, let's go head off directly west. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I, like I said, I've enjoyed the current iterations I've really to be honest Origin was good Odyssey to me was so much better um, and to be honest I kind of gave up on the Asheron's Call oh sorry the Assassin's Creed Asheron's Call see it's like AC um, Asheron's Call was a game I played years ago and I did kind of give up on that uh, but Assassin's Creed um, I played the first one it was fun I enjoyed it didn't really care much for the second one just seemed like more of the same uh, three I was excited about it when it hit and it became a bit of a shit show and then after that they kind of were hit and miss um, the first one that I actually really enjoyed um, I didn't play until after the fact so I would have to say uh, Black Sail and then Syndicate I enjoyed Syndicate um, and then I played Odyssey and then I went and played Origin so I never I haven't played them all in, in series but who cares like you don't really need to play everything in series it's like you know they're not, um, it's not the same story going through. Um, yeah, pick, and miss, pick and choose which one. Brotherhood was okay, but yeah, like, I found a lot of them were just meh. I really did not enjoy 3. Like, I tried to get into it, um, and it just annoyed me more than anything. I didn't care for the storyline. I didn't care for much of anything in it. And I'm like, you know, it's like a revolutionary war in the United States. Big whoop. I don't care. Um, it did nothing for me. But, you know, it's fine for what it was. It was good. I mean, it was a decent enough game, but I just wasn't, like, I didn't get sucked into it. Odyssey was the first one to really get me going since the first one where I wanted to complete it. Like, there was no question that I wanted to, to complete that game. Um, and I did. And I'm working on my second playthrough of it right now. Um, I will, if you're watching Fetch, I, I will eventually finish up um, the... Uh, and the, the what the what I'm getting at I'm alluding to is that um, I picked it up for the Xbox um, and really I've been enjoying playing it on that and then I've got the I got all the DLC with it as well um, so I want to play the Atlantis missions but I wanted to get my character up to where I wanted in the game before I played that and then I'm almost there um, and I've ran into some issues with my capture card thing so uh, current situation kind of hard to find replacements or fix things like cabling is problematic to get uh, as I found trying to fix my DJ setup like I went out to get uh, patch cable simplest thing um, I call them patch cables it's basically a left and right uh, pink and or sorry red and white you know it's that cable that you just have on VCRs that used to come in three you just have a yellow one for the video but yeah th those things apparently Dinosaurs are easier to find than those things are right now. Um, found it on Amazon, but I can't get it for like six weeks. Um, so I found a solution that I could use, um, and it works for me. So I'm I, I didn't need to get the patch cable, but ugh. like yeah, it just like things are so different now when it comes to getting things that you need. It's just like oh, yeah, life is different for sure. Okay, how many of these things do I have to kill before? Oh, well, just keep going, Rivet. Keep doing it. But yeah, um, I'm I'm interested to see 
uh, how Valhalla will will come. I won't pre-order it. I don't do that for games. Um, I will take a look at um, as we get closer to the release date to see how the gameplay looks. Um, as long as they're maintaining some along the lines of what they did with Odyssey, I will be sold. Um, we'll see. Where, okay, I'm like, where did he go? It's like he's right on, like he's part of my body. Are we There he is. He showed up. Hey, jerk. I see you over there. Well, go get him. No name, pet. Ooh. Damn it. Okay. Potion. Ent. Tree ent. Okay, nobody wants to take this on with me. I got this. We, we can do this. No problem. There we go. Done and dusted. Uh, we got a book of crafting. Long sword, brilliant wood bow. Okay, good stuff. Let's check and see how that wood bow is. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. The one that I got from my buddy Armor Time, so much better. I will take it. Um, what else can we do? Where else are we going to go? I need to get into the water and get away from all this hoopla. Um, finding rains would be nice. Uh, maybe. I'm not too worried about it. Ocean biomes. Not a whole lot you can do with them. I have a feeling we're next to another biome change here because it seems like a lot of random. Like, it looks like coastline there. But we, you never know. Yep. I was right. Hey, jerk. There we go. Stick close. Okay, get out of this. Okay. Well, what else do we have to do here? Um, okay. We'll go and grab this, and then there's that one behind it. Sounds like fun. <clears throat> I'll take a sip soda. It's all I can stomach these days. So sweet. Oh god, it's so sweet. Ugh. When you just drink water for a month and a half, <laughs> everything tastes different. Okay. Come on, I really want this just to stop. There we go. Um, yeah. So we got three islands, four islands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Allergies, go away. Go away. I don't need you in my life anymore. Oh, I'm so happy with this. You guys, you have no idea how much better this feels right now just to goof off and play. Like, instead of having to scramble and try to figure out, okay, what am I going to go to next? What's the next thing I can do? Are we going to be able to find anything? Is there going to be anything entertaining? I can just... Next island, next island, next island. Go and have fun. Um, you know, grind a little bit if I need some plus gear. You know, I, I know I've already got some plus stuff. It's fine. One piece of plus stuff is enough to make it a difference. Um, and it's like one piece of armor, one, like, uh, obviously... The best thing you can do is to get a piece of um, equip or not uh, weapon that's plus, you know, that's like blue or purple, and you're set. Like you can grind out after that. Um, that's all I need. But to to start from scratch and four different, uh, I tried, and that's the thing is I, I went to another biome just because I was getting frustrated, and sure enough, same crap. It was like I had no gear, no plus gear. Um, I went in. And everything was just wrecking my day. I was like, I don't care enough about this to want to invest more time. Like, the, the, the biome that I was in was just broken. Uh, I know this one here. Like, I played a bunch of stuff here. And we've had fun here. So, I, I would much rather 
goof off and play here. I don't know it like the back of my hand or anything. I don't think anybody can. I mean, it's impossible. There's so much random in this freaking game these days. And I've done so much with um, my rogue character. You know, I don't need to do anything more. Um, so, game-wise, looking... I've been looking at it for a long time. On sale. I'm not sure if I'm going to grab it. Uh, Final Fantasy X and X2. Um, never played them. Worth always talked about them. Um, again, not sure if I'm going to grab it, but it's I'm interested. Uh, it's I think it's like 15 bucks Canadian or something like that. It's like not an expensive thing. You jerk! You're shooting at me. That's uh, fair enough. Fair. Okay, fine. There, you're your dust, man. Hey, got another book. I'll take it. And I already got like another couple of thousand. I got almost another thousand. There we go. That's done. Double check to see if we got any more loot out of him. Um, cotton chest armor, wood boomerang. Um, I'm looking for a necklace. Funny that now that I don't uh, have to be there. Necklace is the one thing I'm looking for, which is it's it endlessly humorous to me. Hey, go away. Go away. I tell you, allergies are back in full swing. Who? So we had like the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of cold weather, like snow. A couple of times we've had snow, freezing rain. Um, just a couple of days ago, we had like it was minus four or five. Yesterday, twenty degrees centigrade. I was like, what? Where is this? It was like 25 degrees in my apartment because, again, hot air rises and everyone... All the hot air was here and I was like, I was sweltering. I, I put on my fan and I was like, do I have to put my air conditioning in it already? Like, I literally, we were, I, I, it was freezing the other day. But, uh, no, no, we're, it, it's okay. But, yeah, it was just such a weird... Weather has been all over the place. But who knows why that is. I can tell you why. Everything is different now. Climate is completely off track. Nothing is the same as it was before. There we go. Dude, this is just cleaning up. Perfect. Um, I think we'll be able to do one more. I'm hoping to get more of the stuff for you know, like you'd get the treasure spirits, all that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously there has to be a um harp. We've already seen that in the Sky Flute. So those will be things I need to keep an eye out for. Hopefully there'll be one here. Oh, wouldn't that be great if the Sky Flute was right here? I would be ecstatic because there's one right there. <gasps> oh, I can only hope. What are we at here? Ancient Ruins of Kurala. Now this looks like it would be a thing where stuff would be. Yeah. I don't see any dudes here. Ooh, there we go. Harp. That would go for that one that we couldn't open at the other end. Nice. Okay, that's good. Hey, I got another minute and a bit. We can do one more island. I'm okay with this. More than okay with this. Now, I wish that, that was a sky flute. So I could do that one right here. But hey, we're good. Man, a lot of drivers out there today. It's been raining all day today. And um, the sound, because I can hear the sound of um, cars. They make a different sound in the rain, obviously. But there's been a lot more traffic out there today. I, um, talks of Quebec opening up a lot of stuff uh, middle of May. So that's a good sound, a good feel, um, you know. Kind of get life back on track a little bit. I think it's going to be a slow um, process. I don't think it's going to be an immediate thing. But hey, um, any little bit would be good right now. Listen to you. Is that another book? Hey, we got a free bomb. Um, I did them all. Holy crap. Uh, okay, wait, wait. 
We'll do one more thing real quick. Um, before I go. Where is it? it? Should be right here. I don't know what it is, but I want to check it out. If it's something I can work with with the harp, I'm in. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still nervous about everything coming back, but I'm excited to see it coming back too. Um, you know, I, I think it's been a trying process for everybody, obviously. Um, but I just noticed this here. That is... I don't know if you guys recognize that, but I do. So let's do this real quick. Okay. Let's do this real quick. I don't want to die. <clears throat> okay. We should be okay. Linen boots. Yeah, sometimes they don't necessarily follow the thing of there will be you can um sometimes you'll be fine and then you can like there'll be air down there and other times there's not <clears throat> and i had a feeling that was gonna be one of the ones that was not i was right okay please 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 be a door i think that's what the harp's for right yeah door Okay, just a simple open says me. Cool. And there we go. Anyway, I hope you guys are cool with the fact that I wanted to start things fresh here. Like I said, I don't want to get frustrated. Um, I need a name for our leaf runner. You guys want to go ahead and drop a name in the comments. We'll take a vote and decide here. I'll take the vote. I, I'll pick the one that I think is the funniest or coolest or whatever. Um, but again, thank you everybody for your continued support here on the channel. Um, if you guys are new to this, I know that I've had some new faces coming in. Uh, I do Cube World every Wednesday, Friday, Sat and Sunday um, on here on YouTube. I do videos every day, twice a day. Uh, also, I do live streams Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, evenings, and those will be my DJ sets, just for right now. Uh, no idea if I'll go back to gaming stuff, but hey, whatever I can do, I can do. Again, I'll see you guys very, very soon in our next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.